Jim is a hustler. Jim got his mind frame together. He know what he wants, you know what I mean? Paid his dues in the business, you know? It's like he may not be the illest rhymer, but at the same token, the brother do got a lot of style and position on what he doing, and he just took that to the next level, and that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, you know, I don't know his rhyme, his rhyme recipe, but I know as far as me knowing Jones, Jones the street nigga, so I'm always gonna look at him like that, you know what I mean? He found the way to crack the game, get in it and do what he do. It's all good, that's what it's all about. Lil Wayne is Lil Wayne, I mean, you know, he a little nigga that got a strong work ethic, and um, you know, at the end of the day, yo, he do his thing, I like the kid, you know what I mean? He, he in his box or whatever, you know, he put in a lot of work, you know, he really, you know, you couldn't ask for it to come to a better nigga, I mean, I look at the nigga where he from, his city, his city is going through so much and it took a real nigga from the city to, you know what I mean, to get the blessings back from the city to go out and be the best he could be. So I'm looking at it as like, yo, that's a big up for New Orleans, you know what I mean? They, they dude is out there is, is, is one of the top, top contenders in the game. He worked hard for that, that's what's up. T.I., I like T.I., you know what I mean? T.I., good nigga, you know what I mean? Shorty go round too, you know what I mean? I, I definitely paying attention to what, what he's about and, and you know, like I said, he's a lucky cat too because he came from out of a mean situation that it could have escalated into some real shit, but he made it out of there. But as far as his work ethic is concerned, he another one of them cats that believe in what he do and he stay true to himself, you know what I mean? That's the new young G's on the block. Do you. I like G's, I like G's swagger. I like, I like what he stand on, you know what I mean? He got a lot of, you know what I mean, me in him. You know what I mean? He got a lot of street in him and he's not gonna change for who he is, you know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. It's a lot of these cats I really could fuck with as far as they hustle game is concerned. The lyrical, lyrical side of niggas. I mean, you know, niggas get it in the way they get it in it. Like I said, I look at it like this. For me, I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight. I run with the, the heavyweights, and I'm not just saying it like that, but you know, this, you know, rap is like wrestling right now, so you got different divisions of niggas. You know what I mean? Them niggas, whatever they do, that's their division. When you step in my division, it's like, that's the big leagues right there. That's, you know what I mean, where niggas make albums that really, you know what I mean, that carry people's lives, you know what I mean? Like when I look at a top heavyweight contender, I look at a nigga that lived it, been through it, you know what I mean? He rhyming without even knowing he rhyming, you know what I mean? And he constantly recreating his energy on wax, you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. It's like, yo, man, you gotta be able to be an MC from the heart. It ain't always just about being one way and using one style, you know what I mean? For me, it's like, I'm constantly gonna keep coming with different with different art to the table, you know what I mean? That's my thing, I love the rhyme, I love the challenge, different beats. I like Kanye, you know what I mean? Kanye got better as, you know what I mean, as time went on, you know what I mean? Like I said, I always look at him too as a producer, but you know, some brothers is, you know, some brothers is blessed with having the opportunity to speak their mind, you know what I mean? He put words together pretty good though, you know what I mean? But that's, you know, that's his thing. You know what I mean, he found this lane, he has a he has a a right to you know throw his darts the way he throw them and you know I get him I get him a shine he can rhyme. Ross I like Ross I like Ross swag I like his style he another one to remind me of myself you know what I mean big fat nigga that got a lot of good good charisma you know what I mean and him you know boom far as you know what I mean him being a, one of the greatest MCs you know what I mean I give him his little spot I mean, to me right about now. I look at niggas who saying some shit, you know what I mean? He say his little thing, I, 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 I can appreciate what he's saying. So far as the, the upcoming niggas that's really making it happen, yeah, I consider him one of the great ones too, though. You know what I mean? He get it in, you know what I mean? He know how to rhyme, you know what I mean? So I look at that as something great. You know, he ain't come in with, you know what I mean, with the little baby rhymes or whatever. He came in spitting, you know what I mean? That's what I like. And my whole thing is, you know, if you was, you was. If you wasn't, you wasn't. You know what I mean? If you was, it's like it ain't no reason to front. You know what I mean? It's like, because you know, back back in that time, you know, a lot of brothers ain't have jobs as it is. You know what I mean? A CO ain't necessarily a nigga that's a police officer. A CO is just a nigga that, you know what I mean, 
he under the he under the law or whatever, whatever, where he gotta follow the rules, but he's not really considered a cop. Mm -hmm. I know CEOs that run around, get drunk, carry guns, and hold real niggas down in the street. You know what I mean? So I feel like you know if if, if you was one, you know that's what it was. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas ain't fortunate to have jobs. You know what I mean? But it's like if you fronting, then you know you just make niggas look at you even more weird because somebody gonna try to get at you with the bullshit that they happen to come at him with. But in my eyes, if I was a CEO back in the days, and I talk how I talk, and a nigga asked me, yeah, nigga, I was a CEO. And I probably was taking care of a lot of niggas up in there too. But see, you should admit it from the door, but you know, some niggas, they do what they do the way they do it, you know what I mean? Maybe he thought for a minute, it would sabotage his career, you know what I mean? But a real nigga know, yo, if you had a job back then, if you, if you was a messenger, or a nigga that was, you know what I mean, just out there doing whatever to get money and you was getting a check and you wasn't out there selling drugs in the street, right. that's what you do, B. You was a fortunate one, you know what I mean? Right. It'd be like that.